Hello, sports fans. I'd like to welcome everyone to another edition of Sports Memos Pro Football Forecast. I'm your host, world champion handicapper, Las Vegas' biggest daily sports better, Joe D'Amico. Now, guys, you're going to receive a ton, and I mean a ton, of free winners from some of Sports Memos' documented winning cappers. Providing today's winners, Mr. Jesse Shul, Mr. Ronald Cabang, and your host, myself, Joe D'Amico. My friends, during the show, you're going to see a discount. Scroll across the bottom of your screen. There's that sucker now. See it? Guys, take advantage of that discount. This discount this week is just amazing. For any capper on the show, we have a huge offer. Three-day all-access just for the price of one day. That's for Joe D'Amico, Jesse Shul, and Ronald Cabang. Heck, at this rate, you can get all three of us win three times as much. Use forecast 39 upon checkout. The offer is good through the Sunday NFL early games. And, guys, if you like what you hear, like and follow the Sports Memo YouTube channel as well as our Twitter pages. And by all means, by all means, comment. We like to to hear your comments. And just last week, I went out of my way to make sure I replied back to everybody that commented on the show. Guys, let's just say hello to the whole cast. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Ronald. How is everybody? Looking good, Joe. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Love having you guys. You're two of my favorite people in the world, let alone in this business. And by the way, you're two perennials on the Sports Memo leaderboard. We're going to go right into it with our first free pro football winner by the body himself, Mr. Jesse Shul. Jesse, can you tell us about your first free winner, please? I'm looking at New England at Indianapolis. And man, is this a big game for the Colts. Colts really need a win here. This is a huge game for Carson Wentz as well. But it's going to be tough. The last time Carson Wentz faced uh, Bill Belichick and the Patriots, things did not go well for him. He lost 17-10 to 10 back when he was with the Eagles. That was a couple years ago now. Wentz threw for 214 yards and a touchdown on 20 of 40 passing in that game. He was sacked four times or five times, sorry, for 40-yard loss. Uh, the Patriots' defense is perhaps better than it's ever been, ranked number one in scoring defense in the NFL right now. They're coming off that impressive win at Buffalo. Uh, Mac Jones only attempted three passes. The Patriots ran all over the Bills, controlled the clock, controlled the game. Now, that style of play was a, had a lot to do with the weather. However, going against Indianapolis here on the road, this that similar style of play is probably going to be advantageous for the Patriots, I expect them to be conservative. I expect them to run the ball. I expect them to lean on their defense and try to force mistakes for Carson Wentz. Uh, the, the Patriots held Josh Allen to just 145 yards and a touchdown on 15 of 30 passing last week. The under is 8-2 and two in the Patriots' last 10 road games, and the Colts have gone under in 28 of their last 40 in the month of December. I'm looking for this to be a defensive battle, so we're taking under 45 and a half. There you go. Mr. Jesse Schul says go under 45 and a half Patriots Colts. Sports fans, I'm going to let Jesse tell you why you need to use that discount. Go over to Sports Memo right after the show and follow him with that discount the program. Jesse, go on, please. Well, last Sunday I was 5-0 and with all my picks. I had three player prop bets, and they were all winners within the first five minutes of each game. So uh, come back for more of those this Sunday, and you'll be happy you did. There you go. Use that discount, Forecast 39. Go get Jesse. Go get three days, man. He is on the on the leaderboard of multiple sports. It'll pay for itself in no time. Speaking of leaderboard fixtures, one of my favorite people in the world, let alone in this business. He's always on the leaderboards over at Sports Memo on multiple sports, guys. Let's bring him on to give you his first NFL winner, Mr. Ronald Cobang. Ronald, tell us about your first yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, so I'm so I'm looking at this uh, Panthers and Bills game. Uh, the Bills have lost three of their last four, including an overtime loss to the Bucks last week, um, where they had to climb back from a 21 point deficit at halftime. I think they bounced back with a win this week against a struggling Panthers team. Uh, they uh, Panthers lost three in a row now too, and and both teams here are solid defensively. Uh, both teams are one and two in total yards allowed, and and top 10 in points allowed per game. Uh, so I'm not expecting a shootout here with the Bills possibly looking ahead to a key matchup against the Patriots next week. I, I can see the Bills doing just enough to get the W, um, but the Panthers cover the spread. Uh, a quick trend to back this up, uh, dogs who lost their last three games straight up and against the spread are 11 and three against the spread this season. Uh, that's over 78%. And and that's uh, that's the Panthers in this situation. There you go. 
Mr. Ronald Kabang, telling you, take the points with the Panthers. Ronald, you're doing some amazing work over at Sports Memo. Tell our viewers what you got going on and why they need to follow you with that discount this weekend, please. Yeah, so this discount, it it, it works for all sports here. And, and throughout this season, um, I'm positive on both football and basketball, college and pro. So I think that's something that you guys want to look forward to, especially in the NBA, where in the last 30 days, I'm up almost 40 units. Uh, that's number one in the last 30 days at Sports Memo uh, on the NBA side. So definitely take, take advantage of that all sports package. There you go. Guys, use that discount. Forecast 39 upon checkout. Three days for the price of one. Go follow around. It'll pay for itself in no time. Now, sports fans, before I get into my first three winner, I want to know how everybody likes my hat. My hat, you know, I went to find a hat that went this way, the peak, but I can only find the one that went this way. I can't find the ones that go that way, guys. It's I don't know where these kids get them. Guys, I want to talk about my first three winner. I told you, that's a thinker. About my first three winner. And a lot of Jesse's points that he made is the reason why I'm coming in with the Patriots here, plus the points. I've been rooting for Jonathan Taylor all season. Much of Indianapolis is success. Let me try that success. Those hooked on phonics books you got me for Christmas, they can't get here quick enough, Ronald. Guys, most of Indianapolis' success is because of the running back. But, and there's a big but here, I like uh, New England comes in here with the NFL's third-ranked rushing defense and the overall top scoring stop unit. They're swarming and stifling squad that will frustrate the Colts offensively. Slow down, Taylor. I'm not going to say they're going to stop them, but they're going to slow them down a bit. During their seven games straight up and against the spread winning streak, the Patriots' D has allowed a mere 10.4 a game. On the flip side, guys, what can we say about Mac Jones that isn't being said with his performance? He's playing well beyond his years. A 70 70% completion rate on the campaign. Over the last seven games, two INTs. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. The offense wears down opponents big time. I feel the wrong team is favored here, folks. The Patriots, 5-1 ATS, the last six versus the Colts. 4-0, the last four on the road. 6-1, the last seven following a bye week. And 5-0, the last five versus AFC opponents. I like New England outright here, but take the two anyway, guys. Uh, I'll tell you, I really do love this game. This might even make it up as a premium play. Guys, I want to tell you why you need to follow me in the NFL this weekend with that discount. 4-1 last Saturday on NFL games. As a matter of fact, my big games... This season between college and pro, documented 47 and 13. Guys, follow me this Sunday. I have nothing but – well, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we've got NFL games. Guys, uh, this weekend in NFL, I'm going to crush it. I'm going to crush your book. Follow me. Don't go nowhere, guys. We've got another round of free winners from some of the best cappers on the planet. But first, I want to talk about some line movements uh, that was given to me from my good friends over at the Sportsbook at the Westgate. Um, sports fans, uh, you got to be careful. We live in a very health conscious, uh, era right now. And guys, obviously with these COVID protocols, anything can happen from day to day. Do your due diligence. My friends over the super book at the Westgate told me about three big line moves that all have to deal, excuse me, <clears throat> that are all COVID related to me guys. Let's talk about those right now. Uh, we're going to put them up there. My friends over the super book at the Westgate, they open the Jaguars minus three. They're up to five. They opened the Eagles uh, minus three, uh, excuse me, a minus three, minus $1.20. It's only up to plus, uh, excuse me, minus nine and a half. That is a hell of a line movement, guys. The Raiders from plus six and a half down to minus one. I'm wearing my Raider Joe D'Amico jersey. I don't know if you can see. Wait, there it is. Anyway, guys, the Raiders from plus six and a half down to minus one. Obviously, like these moves, like I said earlier, uh, COVID-related. A lot of other news this week in the NFL, <laughs> Urban Meyer. Guys, there's just a lot of stuff. I mean, the soap opera that is Urban Meyer, I did hear some people. I saw something in the news earlier today, guys, that they don't think he's going to get whatever, all the money he thinks he has coming because there's some some issues outside of the game, some behavioral issues. Don't know how true it is. I didn't read into it. Uh, Ronald, you any, I know you're a big NFL guy. Any comments on that? Yeah, I don't know. I, from what I've read is that, you know, the players, they didn't really like them, to be honest. So I think it could be a positive thing for the team to move forward without them. Um, you know, all this all this stuff that comes, uh, men, you know, mentally, uh, the mental aspect of this game is really important on how these players um, perform on the field. And to get something like that out of your system, I think it might be a, a good thing. There you go. 
Well, I want to bring on Jesse real quick, see if he has any comments on the Urban Meyer situation. Because Jesse's got, I mean, he's got a ton of great angles. And and as my friend, we talk uh, quite a few times during the week. And the guy is just abreast of everything. Jesse, any comments on that situation? Well, I'm not going to defend Urban Meyer, but I think what I will say is that it seems obvious to me that he's pissed somebody off. And, and somebody out there really dislikes him because when you start seeing stories about him kicking a kicker and uh, his going out for drinks with, uh, with women when he's married and some of the stories that have been leaked about Urban Meyer would indicate to me that he has enemies in, in high places in the media and uh, somebody out there doesn't like him. Now, does that mean he doesn't deserve to be fired? Absolutely not. Uh, he probably deserves to be fired regardless, but I just find some of the stories quite uh, laughable, to tell you the truth. There you go. Jesse Shaw. You know, it's a big soap opera surrounding him. He's like quite a few other players that, players and coaches in the NFL, but we could go on and on about that. While we have Jesse, I want Jesse to give you his second free NFL winner. Jesse, please. Well, this is going to be a big game in Denver between the Broncos and the Bengals. And these two teams, in a lot of ways, are quite similar. Uh, they both come in seven and six, but uh, they appear to be trending in opposite directions. The Bengals are coming off back-to-back -back losses. They're coming off a home loss in overtime to San Francisco. Uh, they made an average quarterback look great last week. Jimmy G, the Italian stallion, threw for 296 yards and two touchdowns. Um, and you got to wonder, the Bengals, are they uh, – are they the contender they appeared to be earlier on, or are they pretenders? And, uh, you know, I had a quick look at their schedule. They've got seven wins on the season. Only one of those wins came against a team with a winning record, and that was Baltimore. Um, and to be fair, Denver's strength of schedule is nothing to speak of either. But Denver does have the number two scoring defense in the NFL. Um, Denver is at home. Denver's a solid team that does a lot of things well. Denver doesn't have to be great here. Teddy Bridger, Bridgewater doesn't have to be great. Denver just has to be Denver and not screw anything up. Don't turn the ball over. And they should prove to be the better team than the Bengals with uh, a banged-up quarterback who's got that finger injury. T, T. Higgins, uh, the best receiver of late. Um, Jamar Chase, of course, the most explosive receiver. But they've been favoring T. Higgins lately. He's got a bit of an ankle injury. And, uh, you know, this is Denver. This is on the road. This is December. I I'll take the Broncos as a small favorite. There you go. Mr. Jesse Schultz says, take the Broncos. I love it. He made a believer out of me. Here's someone who's going to make a believer out of me as well, just like he's going to make a believer out of you. He's got another free NFL winner for you. Ronald Kabang. Ronald, what you got, baby? I'm looking at the, the Seahawks and Rams this weekend. Uh, the Seahawks have won two in a row now, and they put up at least 30 points in both games. Uh, the Rams have also won two in a row, including a, a huge win over the Cardinals last week. Uh, but now the Rams are dealing with a, a slew of injuries and COVID-related issues. The Rams, uh, I heard, even had to shut down their facility uh, at some point this week. So practice and preparation time might be a problem for the Rams um, uh, for this for this key uh, divisional game. Uh, the Seahawks... You know, they, they have to win outright for any chance at the playoffs. And I think uh, they have put together two solid weeks in a row now. Uh, I think they're finally getting some momentum on, on both sides of the ball. Um, I have a feeling the Seahawks uh, win this one outright, mainly because of everything the Rams are dealing with this week. But even if they do lose, I I can't see see them being um, down by more than a field goal at the end of the, at the, end of the game. There you go. Ronald Cobang. And, guys – if anyone knows the Seahawk team, it's Ronald Gabang. He's always been – he's been making a believer out of me with the Seahawks. For and against the Seahawks this whole season, I know he's made a believer out of you. Guys, I've got a winner I want to tell everyone about. I'm very excited about this game, guys. Sports fans, whether it's Lamar Jackson or Tyler Huntley at the helm, trust me, it doesn't matter. Guys, this Ravens offense is mediocre at best. Just over the last month or so, they were outscored by Miami, Pittsburgh, and Cleveland once. None. None, none are powerhouses, folks. In their two victories over the last five games, they eked out a 16-13 to win over Chicago and a 16-10 win in an earlier meeting with Cleveland. Guys, this team is not a contender. Don't kid yourself. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, Baltimore fans. They're not a contender. But Green Bay is, guys. Aaron Rodgers will pick apart the league's 31st-ranked pass defense. This just might be his best performance 
of the season. Let's flip it, go flip side, whether it be on the ground or in the air. The Packers will completely shut down the already stunted Ravens offense with both the Buccaneers and the Cardinals. Both teams are also sporting 10 wins. The Packers want this win. They want that top seed in the conference. Trust me, they want that top seed. They really do. It's a big, 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 big value to them. Big benefit to them. My friends, since the week one loss, Green Bay is on an 11-1 ATS run. They are money. 5-1 and one the last six on the road. 7-1 the last eight is a fave. 16-5 the last 21 overall. The Packers win by double digits here. I'm taking them. You take them too. And we'll both beat our bookmakers. I want to bring everybody on board while I do a rundown of the games, guys. Oh, my God. I'm so excited about this show. It's great. Um, first, let me do this first, guys. Let me do a couple of announcements before we do, before we do another rundown. Sports fans, we would love it if you followed the Sports Memo YouTube channel. It's 100% free. And also follow us on our Twitter page. Uh, like, comment, share our post, please. Let us know what you like. Let us know what you don't. We want to keep coming back to you. We want to keep coming back for you, making you happy. We certainly want you to keep coming back. We really do want to supply supply you with tons of more free winners and a few laughs, too, having some fun, guys. Uh, sports fans, also that discount there. Ronald, Jesse, and myself, huge offer. Three-day all-access for any one of us on the show, the price of one day. That's either Joe D'Amico, Jesse Shul, Ron Gabang, heck, at this rate, you get all three of us, guys. You can buy you can buy two of us, three of us, one of us. But trust me, when you get three days from three proven documented winners like Jesse, Ronald, and Joe D, you're going to be happy. You're going to make some money. Let me run down the games for everyone, please. Uh, Jesse the Body comes in with the under 55 in the Patriots Colts. Uh, he also comes in with the Broncos, minus the two and a half. My dear friend Ronald Kobank, he says, take the Panthers plus seven and a half and the Seahawks plus four and a half. You're a handsome host. Joey D says, take the Patriots minus two, the Packers minus five and a half. My friends, I want to thank Sports Memo, your one-stop shop, for all your sports betting needs, our wonderful panel of experts. Most of all, I want to thank you, our viewers. Without you, we wouldn't be here. Keep coming back. We'll keep supplying you. Winners and guys. Next week is our Christmas shows. Next week, our Christmas shows. We might have a few surprises and a few early Christmas presents for you guys. On behalf of Sports Memo, Jesse Shul, Ronald Kabang, and me, Joe D'Amico, good luck. Have a winning day.